These spider webs are so cool. They're like holographic y. Alright guys, so last night we finished hiking, I don't know, by 4 o'clock, and then uh, we got picked up by a Hawk Support team member, Millie, and her son, Baloo, who uh, through hiked the trail, I can't remember which year, 17 or 18, I think. Um, so they picked us up, and took us to dinner that was awesome thanks you guys for dinner and then um to the micro towel so uh, millie put us up in the micro towel for the night thank you very much that was awesome we got a good night's sleep and uh, so did pr i don't think he woke up once in the middle of the night and um what else ice cream we got ice cream and uh then we got up early this morning and we were back on trail before 8 o'clock. We got breakfast at Wawa. PR is refusing to walk this morning because we just passed Superman in his tent and PR wants to stop and socialize. Hawks up ahead somewhere. I have no idea. I get distracted by those spider webs and then he was gone. So we got to the micro towel last night, it was like 8.30, and then they said the dryer was broken in the laundry room, so if we wanted to bring our clothes to them, they would dry them after we washed them. So I think by 9 o'clock I had laundry started, and then by 9.30, 10 o'clock we brought it to them in the dryer, to go into the dryer, and then... It was definitely back to our room by 11. So after we saw those cool spider webs, we passed the turd graders, who now I guess were um, piggyback and forth here. Um, leapfrogging, yeah, something like that, uh, with them. And then we passed Superman, same kind of deal. And so the dog just wanted to stop and visit, and he didn't want to hike on without those guys. So we just sat there for an hour. I guess it's going to be a while before we catch up. Look, you guys, we finally made it to a viewpoint after like two hours. This dog is so frustrating. Now he wants to go, go, go. He's going to drag me. <sighs> Honestly. <sighs> so anyways, late night trying to get everything done once you get to the hotel room and like figure out what you need for food for the next section. And then I forgot to message Steve last night about when we'd be going through the... 309 crossing today so that we could meet up with him with the resupply that we left with him so we didn't have to carry it all so trying to plan that too um so i messaged him this morning and then we're just gonna message him like an hour before we get to the road and he's gonna pick us up um, hoagies as well so that's super exciting oh my god you guys Steve you're killing it 
I'm starving. <sighs> Always. But actually, I'm really tired. So I think if I stay in the woods, I get more sleep than if I go to a hotel because there's no driving. And I don't know if I stay dirty and don't get my laundry done either, but um, I definitely get more sleep. So I think we'll be on trail tonight, even though it's going to pour. Hopefully we'll get to a shelter. That's my plan. But that makes for a long day. And we're already way far behind schedule. So, yeah. And I'm going to stop making my videos so freaking long. So I'm not up till midnight editing. Actually, I finished editing this morning when I was on trail. So, yeah. And I'm trying to upload that now, but I'm moving, so my service is in and out. So that slows down the upload process. It's way easier to do it when I'm sitting still somewhere. But probably that's not going to happen today. Because I'm an hour behind now that PR decided to sit there for an hour. Ooh, these are big steps. Okay, bye. This is a trail, you guys. These rocks are slippery. They're wet. And I got this leash tangled around me. PR trying to go a different way and oh, man. It's great. God, that looks slippery. Alright, put me away. That's where we just came from. Nope. Down and around. Over here. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Boom. And we didn't fall. Let's knock on some wood. Alright. We're almost down to the Route 309 or. Whatever it is, something 309. <laughs> That's where we're meeting Steve. Um, but we got a ride this morning from Hawk's subscriber Matt, and he got us breakfast at the Wawa. I think I mentioned that. Oh, PR, no, you don't either. Come on. No, no, come on. No more mud. Oh boy. Come on. Come on, buddy. That is great. Oh boy. Nope. We just left the stream. You really needed mud? Oh boys. Well, hopefully we're not getting in anybody's car because that would be terrible. We're not. Steve's bringing us sandwiches and we got a ride and breakfast this morning from Matt. And 20 bucks each. Somebody left water. That's awesome. Hawks up ahead of us. Oop. PR keeps getting little bursts of energy here. This is beautiful with the ferns. So... Anyways, what was I saying? Big shout out to Matt for uh, this morning's trail magic. Uh, getting us back to trail. Giving us some food money. And hooking us up with breakfast. Over at the man. And uh, chit-chatting about dogs and such. That was good. And hammocking. He's a hammocker. Like moi. Like both of us. PR is a hammocker. 
Is it hammock or hammock? <laughs> this campsite's cool, you guys. With all these like seats around the fireplace. And then the view. <laughs> That's nice. It's the weekend. Super nice. <laughs> oh, you want to Ooh. Nah, I want to keep going. So Steve met up with us in the parking lot, brought us some sandwiches, some huge sandwiches. They were huge, like hoagies. Had ham and salami and it was delicious. And Hawk had turkey and cheese. Mayo. Mayo. <laughs> there was mayo. Um, <laughs> it's gonna rain, it's gonna rain on us big time. Can you see that? I was hoping to get some thunder in the background, but it's not going to thunder now because I'm recording. But anyways, I wanted to say thanks to Steve for the sandwiches and um, we grabbed some resupply and um, organized everything that we need for the next few days and now we're about to go over Knife's Edge. Thanks, got... Steve! <laughs> thanks, Steve. Knife's Edge, what? Yeah, this is going to be wet. This is the view. Yeah, what? It's been how many days? 18 days. We've stayed dry. And I'm, just, I'm still not going to get any thunder, but I'll get some. Guess what? We didn't get rained on. It passed right by. Ooh. Now you can hear it. We're almost to the knife edge. Let me show you. Ooh, we're getting some wind. Yeah, read it. We're close. Sounds like it's nice and windy now with that storming all around us, but it's not raining on us, so that's good. almost at 1200 miles you guys 1200 miles on the Appalachian Trail PR how do you do it he does it for the views <laughs> hey buddy Knife's Edge, PA. With PR. <laughs> this is not the right way. This way, buddy. You gotta come up over it. This way. There you go. Come over here. Come up over here. Over here, bud. Yeah, this way. Good. Wait.
trees are cool down down here in the bottom. <laughs> I don't know why that's the coolest part of it, but this is a cool view. Coming your way, buddy. Oh, it looks like it went right up your nose. Ah, oh, that was funny. What you doing? Tasting good. <laughs> We're going to be down there in a mile and a half. <laughs> so, keep in contact. Fox <laughs> 14. He's hard at work here. <sighs> it's all fun and games so somebody gets hurt. Bake of a knob. It's like a zoo. <laughs> What's a video? Uh -huh, I like videos. <laughs> Everybody knows I like videos. Good hooks. It's key for late night hiking. So you guys, we got dinner from Rich and Millie Hayes. They were set up right on the edge of the road back there, right before Bake Oven Knob. And we're still up here. The sun is still setting. We just got off those rocks, away from those people, and we're almost to a campsite. Hopefully, with water. But we got dinner. There was watermelon and chicken and salad and macaroni and cheese and Gatorade and Coke. And it was delicious. Thank you guys so much. And PR got some chicken too. And there's a lot of other hikers there too. Uh, we saw Superman and Cascade and the father-son team that have been sectioning um, with the Sprinter van. Um, I met the son. I'd only met the father so far. So he said his name was Adam. And then who else was there? Um... um I think Mosh Pit and Downhill went through before I got there. And then there was that other guy that's hiking with them in Cascade now. Can't remember what his name was. But that was awesome. Thanks again, Rich and Millie, for dinner and for being awesome. <laughs>